Looking good, Marcus. Did you get a haircut? <laughs> oh, please. If you're being nice, I know you want something. <laughs> okay, fine. Look, the truth is the school needs money. Nothing big, just a million bucks. What? A million bucks for what? Well, I don't know. Books, paper, pencils, nothing important. A million bucks for books, pencils, and paper? Mm -hmm. And also, the city's making fix a drainage problem on the football field. They say it looks like a swamp, and it's a hazard. One kid loses his leg to an alligator, and all of a sudden, it's a hazard. <laughs> i tell you what, I'm not giving you any of my own money, but I'll do something even better. Will you adopt me? Will you marry me? No, and heck no. But I could put together maybe like a celebrity talent show fundraiser. <gasps> Hey, you know, I got a lot of famous friends mm -hmm. that would love to donate their time to a worthy cause. <laughs> Talk is cheap. What stars can you get, Marcus? What stars can I get? I don't want to brag, but I know everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my superstar friends are like this. Oh, which one are you? The thumb? <laughs> The sensation Marcus Jackson is being prosecuted for his recent mishap with the paparazzi. I find you guilty as charged and order you to teach a class at South Central High School. Sorry, Betty. I love you, but I have to pull the plug. No, don't pull the plug. She's in a coma. <laughs> Stop hogging up all the tissue. Jack, if you pull that plug, you're just a low-down, dirty dog. Plus, you cheated on me. Pull the plug. <laughs> oh, you two guys watching soap operas again? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> you guys should do your own soap. The bald and the not-so-beautiful. What's the matter, Marcus? You look like you lost your best friend. I asked practically every A-lister I know to help me with this school benefit, and not a single one said yes. They all turned me down. You don't need any celebrities. Do it yourself. Remember, before you did movies, you were a stand-up comedian. Yeah, you did stand-up on that comedy show for the heart of hearing. You mean Deaf Comedy Jam? That's the one. <laughs> yeah, but don't you remember his act? It's not exactly appropriate for a school benefit. Oh, no. <laughs> but you crack jokes about the audience. I mean, you really insulted them. <laughs> I know, I know. My comedy back in the day was pretty dangerous. But I mellowed out since then. I mean, I write some new material and everybody will love it. Really? Mm -hmm. It's easier said than done, man. Do you need some help with some new material? You know, me and Tony's some pretty funny guys. <laughs> yeah, funny looking. <laughs> Woo! I said funny looking, guys. <laughs> Okay, fine, I'm rusty. Cool, all right, you know what? I just gotta get back at it. It's just like riding a bike. Yeah, off a cliff. What? I said you have a gift. <laughs> hey, Maria. Oh, Carlos, hi. Oh my gosh, Miss Mullins really piled on the homework tonight, huh? Yeah. So, um, Maria. There's something I want to ask you. Go for it. You think the kings are going all the way? I don't know. Have the queens been drinking? <laughs> really? That's what you wanted to ask me? Yeah, yeah. See you. Danielle, can I ask you something? Sure. Okay. There's this girl I want to ask to dance, um, and we've been friends, but I kind of want to take it to the next level, but I don't know how to tell her how I feel. You're so cute. Excuse me? You don't have to be shy, Carlos. I understand completely. I'd love to go to the dance with you. With me? You want to go to the dance with me? Absolutely! I am so glad you asked. We're going to have the best time. <laughs> Well, well, Marcus. Little Birdie told me all of your celebrity friends bailed on the fundraiser. Marcus, we rented an entire nightclub. The tickets are sold out. Look, I'm sorry I couldn't get you guys any stars. I could do the show myself. It's a 90-minute show. It's not that easy. Hey, Chuck, the star. 
You're not the only one around here with talent. Why don't you give us some stage time, too? Let us audition. Yeah, exactly. A lot of us teachers have some amazing hidden skills. <laughs> you got that right. But bam <laughs> I'll humor you. You know, you guys going all South Central Idol on me. Let's do it. <laughs> the great Fredini, the world's greatest flame swallower. Flame swallower? Please, don't try this at home. Please, don't try this here. <laughs> Black swan, really? No, African American swan. You might not know this about me, but there's a good chance that I could become the lead saxophonist in the Philharmonic. I'm just waiting for my call back. How long you been waiting? 31 years. <laughs> okay. Let's see what you got. Mm. 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 my album drops. <laughs> Everyone, it wasn't easy, but the decision has been made. And the teacher that will be performing with me in the fundraiser is... Nobody! I'm going solo. It's a packed house. You sure you're ready? Yeah, man, just because I haven't done stand-up in a decade doesn't mean I'm not ready. I, I know, I'm sure they'll love you. But remember, no insults. I won't. Bobby, just, you gotta say it, though. Come on. Oh, oh. Okay, superstar. It's showtime. Yeah. <laughs> now, the moment you've been waiting for, the brother from his own mother, put your hands together for South Central's own Marcus Jackson! <laughs> All right, everybody, what's up, what's up? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. What did the buffalo say to his son when he dropped him off of school? Bye, son. <laughs> Bye, son. Bye-bye. <laughs> Is this thing on? Unfortunately, yes. Okay. Hey, did y'all hear about the skydivers that got married in midair? <laughs> Talk about falling in love, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone okay. leave the bathroom door open, or is that his jokes I'm smelling? Say something funny, you hack. Get to the jokes. You want jokes? You want jokes? I got jokes. Uh-oh. Don't do it. I know that look. Here come the insults. I can't believe I'm getting heckled by Principal Martin. Principal Martin's so skinny, he can look through a peephole with both eyes. Who out there? <laughs> And then there's Freddie, the principal's assistant. I don't know how. He's so dumb, he tried to call 911. He couldn't find the 11. <laughs> oh, I got more. I got more. Oh. And then there's Cassandra Washington, the math teacher. I don't know how she the math teacher. Her idea of math, if I sleep seven hours, work one, that's an eight-hour day. But <laughs> bam! <laughs> And then there's Samantha Owens. Poor Samantha. Oh, I'm not trying to tell you she's gonna be lonely for the rest of her life, but if she keep hanging out with that diabetic cat, he gonna make it to the altar before she does. Ah! <laughs> Meow. Meow. And then there's my good friend, Jamal. <laughs> He's the worst chef I've ever seen. The only person to volunteer to feed the homeless, and they say, we good with the trash, homie. <laughs> 
Marcus, take it easy. <laughs> Come on, Jamal, you could take it. Let me tell you, Jamal is so lazy, the only exercise he get is when his nose running. <laughs> Fine, you feel that way? I'm out of here. Aww. 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 Of course you leave it, so you can get home and eat all my food. <laughs> Marcus, I'm so hungry. I'm hungry, Marcus. <laughs> Talk about their mama. <laughs> <laughs> Who else wants up? Who wants up? Hi, Carlos. Hi, Maria. <sighs> hey, Carlos. Want to see a picture of the dress I'm going to wear to the dance? I don't think so. <laughs> it's bad luck. <sighs> That's only with a wedding dress, silly. <laughs> nice, huh? Yeah. And it's all for you. I can't wait for Friday night, Carlito. You two look cozy. Is everything okay? Actually, no. There's this problem. See, I wanted to take this girl to the dance. Um, I told Danielle about it, but she totally misunderstood. You mean you don't want to go to the dance with Danielle? No. And this other girl is just beautiful and funny and just perfect for me. But I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Oh, don't worry. I'll straighten it all out for you. You will? Absolutely. When the time is right, I'll just tell her that you actually want to take me to the dance. <laughs> and I'll just kick her to the curb. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, sure it is. Danielle can take it. She gets dumped all the time. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll be gentle as a lamb. Uh. Mm -hmm. oh, we're going to have such a good time. Yeah. My Carlos. <laughs> Hi, hi. Hey, cheer up, Carlos. What's up? Freddy! What's up, baby? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are you hurt? I'd call 911, but I can't find the 11. <laughs> Freddy! Oh, man, take a joke, bro. <laughs> hey, Cassandra. Eh, back that thing up, Judas. Hey, man, what's wrong with her? what is wrong with her. She was insulted by your act, as we all were. I knew this was a mistake. We should have canceled the show the moment we found out you couldn't book any real stars. What do you mean, real stars? You know, unlike yourself, people with actual talent. You are so immature. Really? Well, double on you. <laughs> Come on, everybody, let's get out of here before Mr. Funny Man insults us all again. <clears throat> Hey, Jamal, I'm so sorry about last night. What's up with the suitcase? I said I'm sorry, man. I heard you. It's too late. The damage is already done. Come on, bro. You know we bag on each other all the time. Is it because I did it in front of everybody? It's because your jokes were true. I am lazy. Oh. And it's all your fault. Why is it his fault? Because he enabled me. I wasn't lazy before I met Marcus. I was hard working. Nope. You were hardly working. <laughs> Get out of my way. Out of my way? Now I'm insulted. Why? Because you stole my line, and you didn't even do it right. Now out of my way! <laughs> I know I hurt your feelings. Man, I let you live here, and I give you everything because you're my best friend. Maybe so. I'm out of here. Wait, wait a minute, hold up. Where are you going to go? I don't know. Somewhere where I'm appreciated. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's going somewhere where they appreciate short, bald, and lazy guys? Y'all gonna wait for me? Nah, I'm just kidding. I know what I got a good. <laughs> oh, hey, Danielle. Um, do you have a sec? It's about the dance. Sure. Did you finally get a date? <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, I did. Carlos is taking me to the dance. Not you. Sorry, but... You're out. Carlos did not ask you to the dance. He asked me. I'm going with him. Well, you're gonna have a hard time dancing from your hospital bed. Oh, really? <laughs> Bring it on. Let's go. He didn't say nothing but a word. I'll bounce you like a quarter. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Go. Stop. Okay. Enough, enough. Stop. Uh, stop. Carlos, tell her you are taking me to the dance. Right, no. Look. Tell her you're going with me. All right, stop. The truth is, I didn't want to go with either one of you. I, I like you both a lot, really. I do. But um, I wanted to go to the dance with Maria. Me? Hey. Really? Yeah. I wanted to go with you too, but when you never asked me, I finally agreed to go with Milton. That's right, Milton. That's capital M, lowercase i. Shut, Shut up, Milton. Milton. <laughs> okay, 
So you didn't want to go with either one of us? No. And I, I should have said something, but I mean, you didn't give me a chance. Dang, this is a real mess. Not necessarily. You see, I play fantasy baseball, and sometimes a two-for-one trade is a good thing. You mean, I could go with Carlos if they'd go with you? That could work. What do you say, ladies? Please? I don't know. Give us a second. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, since you and Carlos are all in love, you can go with him and we'll work it out with that. That's it. Thanks, I owe you guys. Yes, you do. And Milton, FYI, fantasy baseball is the only fantasy you're gonna get. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> sure Jamal is staying here? This is one of the most expensive hotels in Beverly Hills. Look, I'm positive. I did some detective work. What did you do? I checked your credit card bill. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> hey, man. What are y'all doing here? What are you doing here? Is that a duck? No, oh, he's got a duck. No. Now, if you excuse me, I need to get to the pool before all the good lounge chairs are taken. Come on, Jamal. Hey, calm down. Aren't you ready to come home? Yeah, man, aren't you tired of roughing it in this five-star resort? <laughs> Ever since I moved out on my own, I've done some serious soul searching. On your own? You only been gone six hours. I know, I know, but it's been enough time for me to figure out what I want to do with my life. Look, guys, I'm a cook, and with some serious training, I could be off the hook. Well, cooking always been your thing, you know? Shh. But to become a real chef, I have to go to culinary school. So, Marcus, I want to make a deal with you. What's up? If you pay my tuition. I promise to pay back every penny soon as I get on my feet. Jamal, I would love to support your dream. Nothing would make me happier than seeing one of my best friends succeed. Thanks, Bo. <laughs> oh, that's all good, man. But we got to get rid of the rubber ducky. Man, pack your stuff so we can go home. Come on, baby. But Marcus, it really does make me feel guilty when I spend your money. OK, OK, I believe you. OK. <laughs> I can't wait to get in here, baby. What? You got the presidential suite and all this lobster and champagne? I thought you said you felt guilty. <laughs> you can't expect me to feel guilty on an empty stomach. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Hey, wow, what is this, an ambush? No, Marcus, not at all. We just want to talk to you. OK. <laughs> Have a seat. All right, all right, all right. Now, as you know, a lot of us were hurt by your little comedy act. <laughs> yeah. And we were plotting ways to get back at you. <laughs> okay. And boy, did we have some good ones. But we decided not to sink to your level. They decided. I wanted to sink lower than the Titanic. <laughs> the point is, we forgive you for your tasteless humor and your immaturity. Because quite frankly, we're just bigger than you are. Well, not all of you. Anyway, here is a piping hot cup of forgiveness. Mm. Enjoy. Oh, I want to thank you guys for letting bygones be bygones. Yes. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> ah, that's so cool. Wait. Oh. <laughs> You blew my hand to the cup. Yeah. Oh, I deserve it. You got me. Hey, we got you. <laughs> Marcus, if you want the glue remover, it's right here. Yeah. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? OK. <laughs> Very funny, people. <laughs> the chair, too? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Have a nice weekend, Marcus. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs> What? Well, Marcus, you know, of course I could stay and help you, but Please? I have to go plan my cat's wedding. <laughs> Samantha, I really love your cat. I was just playing. Come on. Everybody was joke. <laughs> <laughs>